Hey guys, you know what today is? That's right, it's hump day! Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Wisdom Wednesdays with me, Kenny. And tonight we have a special guest, Brooklyn. I'm babysitting and she wouldn't let me do a video without her. So here she is. She just turned three. Say hey, Boogie. Alrighty. And um, today we're starting this series on relationships. And the first topic is going to be dating. And I just got three points on what it takes to have a successful relationship. And if you follow these three simple guidelines, then I ensure that your relationship will be as successful and stress-free as possible. Uh, the first thing that we have to remember in order to have a successful relationship is that we are not entitled to anything while dating. Um, and that's just going to say that we're only dating a person. We're not married to them. We hadn't done any vows. The only things that we are entitled to is honesty. We're not entitled to know where they're at, what they're doing, who they're with, uh, what they had for dinner, what time they went to bed, all that other stuff that, uh, that we feel like is a guarantee within a dating relationship. It's not. The only thing that we need to have and the only thing that we're entitled to have is honesty. Secondly, uh, we don't have to do everything together. When you're dating someone, you're not obligated to do everything together. You're not obligated to be together at all times of every day. Uh, girls need girl time and guys need guy time. The more time you spend together is just asking for more conflicts and more problems to be created. If you don't get time by yourself in order to grow yourself and help yourself recover from the time that you did spend together, then you're just going to keep building up with anxiety and pressure and it's just going to come to a head at one point and blow up in this huge fight. And then you guys are going to break up. Happens all the time. And the last thing we have to understand is that we are not the priority. Whoever you're dating should not be more important than your schoolwork, should not be more important than your friends, should not be more important than your family, should not be more important than your life. That person should not have the top spot of everything. Because at this point, at this stage in life, um, there's, there's no one that should be above the goal that you're trying to accomplish as we talked about before. Just uh, the relationship itself can be a distraction if you guys aren't too careful about how how much emphasis you place on it. It is important to see the person that you're dating and to be with that person, but everything you do should not be geared toward the happiness or the desire of that person. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to try to make that person happy or to keep them satisfied, but you shouldn't have to bend over backwards and go out of your way and try to change who you are in order to satisfy those needs. That's where we get into conflict and we start to we start to find issues with uh, what we're doing in order to appease someone else and we um, we start to settle for things in relationships and then we once we have a history of settling then we continue to settle it's like if you ever played a sport they say once you quit one sport it makes it easier to quit the next so once you're a quitter you're gonna always be a quitter once you start settling you're gonna always be a settler and you're, it's too early it's too young to start settling for anything the best thing that we can do for our future spouse, for the person that we're dating, for the person we intend to marry, is to make ourselves the best we are now. If we handle the business that we have to handle on the front end, then when we get to the back end, everything should go as smoothly as possible. And um, sorry, this one feels uh, extremely rushed, but I uh, had to put it together while watching Boogie. And just a little disclaimer: next week. Uh, I'll try to make a video. I'm not sure if I can. I'm going to be at the Mississippi Boys State. And if I can fit it into the schedule there, I plan on doing uh, another part of this relationship series there, which is a relationship between you and yourself. Maybe I can do that in front of those guys. If I can't, then I will put it in for the following week. And um, I really appreciate you guys for watching the video. Just if you if you have any questions, any concerns, any comments, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, leave a comment at the bottom. Uh, like it, subscribe to the page, and I hope to continue to be able to do these. There's, there's, there will be some information at the end about how to get in contact with me if there's anything that you want to discuss further or anything that you feel that I should make a video on. And as always, guys, uh, thanks for the support. I love you all. Have a great Wednesday.